Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube video channel. I'm Dr. Lockwin. I'll be <coughs> explaining to you and the public, um, the community out there, about the deep cleaning. Why de your dentist recommend a deep cleaning? So let's take a quick look at the picture here. This is a case uh, we call heavy calculus uh, problem. Patient who have uh, moderate uh, to advanced gum disease. Uh, look at the very severity of this one. This is just one example. So with the gum disease, there is uh, four stage uh, of gum problem. And so why do we need a deep cleaning? The deep cleaning, uh, you look at the picture on the up, uh, upper, uh, on the right side of the patient, we just did the deep cleaning on the left side. We also did the deep cleaning on the left side. That's why you see the bleeding. This is the picture of right after the deep cleaning. Now. Uh, you again, I just want to show you the previous picture. Uh, see on the right side a lot of plaque and on the left side heavy plaque. And now look at the immediate deep cleaning. That's how you see what you expect the deep cleaning. Um, as soon as you have a deep cleaning, this is that's how you look like if only if you have this severe gum problem. If you don't have the severe gum problem, you don't, your gum doesn't look like this, okay? I just want to make sure you understand it. And you look at the picture on the right side, there is a uh, four state of, of gum disease. Uh, beginning is called healthy gum, and then <coughs> state number two is called gingivitis, which means that you still don't have bone loss yet. You have gum inflammation only. And then uh, you have type two, type three, and type four. Those are the type uh, uh, gum disease when, when we call type one, uh, type two, type three, type four that indicate that you have gum pr problem type two. You have early gum disease, you have minor bone loss. Type 2, you have moderate bone loss. Type 4, I mean type 3 and type 4, that means you have moderate to an advanced bone loss. Okay, so I'm going to zoom in. I just want to talk to you. See, this is called the type, type uh, 3 and type 4 gum disease. You see how this patient has severely bone loss. Okay, and uh, so anyway, let's just keep going. What is the deep cleaning? The reason that you need a deep cleaning is um, uh, <coughs> what, are, what is the definition of deep cleaning, by the way? Deep cleaning is a conventional periodontal therapy, that's the term, or we call it non surgical periodontal surgery. Non surgical periodontal therapy, I mean, <coughs> now the uh, uh, procedure, would, what is it involved? It's involved in removing the dental plaque and also removing the dental calculus. Uh, so to do that, we have to smooth uh, your root surface and your teeth surface, and also we, we rem by doing that we we, we have to remove uh, the uh, the the roughness of your tooth structure that contain the, uh, the bacteria the uh, that cause gum bone loss and and gum inflammation. Okay, so the next thing is the. What is the plaque? The plaque is basically a very soft, yellowish, uh, reddish uh, substance that attached to your tooth structure, your enamel, and it's a tissue your tooth structure, including your enamel and your root surface, depending on how severe your gum problem is. Uh, it, the plaque can be easily removed, um, but it's, it, it can accumulate within 24 hours. Uh, it's called, we call it biof biofilm. If it if it, it, it remain undisturbing after uh, uh, from not flossing and brushing, it would turn into cal soft calculus, and it takes several days later to turn into hard calculus. The picture that you see is a combination of plaque on uh, and calculus combined that the patient have. Okay. So this is um, a cal what is the calculus? The calculus is called also called tartar. It's a ca calcification of plaque. Okay, and uh, it causes your gum swollen, redness, and bleeding gum. Okay, and next thing is <clears throat> when your gum tissue is swollen, what happened? You it create the opportunity for the bacteria to live underneath that environment where it's starting to become. Um, hard for you to brush and floss. So even you brush and floss when it the, when it become calculus, you can't get rid of this um, by yourself. You have to see, 
you have to have an instrument to go down and clean that. And when you do that, it's very painful and uncomfortable. So you have to see a professional dentist, dentist or hygienist to do this, okay? We have to numb you. <clears throat> now, uh, so your body will attempt to clean up the infection, but whenever it does, it's, it have a problem because of the be because of the chronic calculus is underneath your gum. It causes a chronic uh, bone loss and irritation. So you can do by yourself. It really requires a dental uh, practitioner to handle your, your your problem. Okay, take a look at this uh, picture, and the X-ray show that the patient already has some bone loss and the, the calculus is be in between your patient teeth. So this is. Um, uh, why uh, you know you cannot do by yourself because the calculus be it turn into rock very hard to remove with your floss or brush um, and it start making you loosen the bone you see start losing the bone right there <coughs> the next slide is um, so <coughs> now you have to understand that the bone is a, a is a continuous uh, a vital uh, organ in your system uh, it, it have the bone activity that regenerate constantly but because of the <clears throat> this type of bacteria it's caused the disruption of the uh, the the bone bone cell so it del doesn't allow you your bones to gr to grow naturally it it disrupted that's why you start losing bone okay so <clears throat> again can, with this type of um, heavy calculus, you can't really brush and floss. You have to see a dentist to remove them. All right. <clears throat> now, after you do the deep cleaning, the 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 gum will on the left side look better, uh, the teeth look better. But as you can see, you can regrow the you cannot regrow the the what you lost. Once you re, you lost, you're gonna lose it. You see, the more the gum is receding after the deep cleaning. And this is because the patient have lost the foundation of the the the, the teeth, which is the bone. Okay. Again, this same picture. So <clears throat> again, this is where it uh, become an issue because the gum disease is uh, is uh, it can be uh, uh, other problem on your body. It's not just the gum itself. Uh, you you learn more about this. In just a minute. So yeah, so what are the problems that involve with your gum disease? You can have uh, association of heart disease, respiratory disease, arthritis, diabetes, gastrointestinal disease, and pre premature low birth weight baby, all can relate it to gum problem, okay? So the picture on the right side show you this. <clears throat> this is why when we do the deep cleaning, we need to numb you. We need to numb you really well. So when we clean, whether you use inch hand instrument or the machine, it doesn't feel pain. Okay, I'm gonna explain to you what. A, so yeah, <clears throat> what we're doing is we're gonna go uh, after we numb you. We're gonna go under the gum and clean it, clean, remove all the hard tartar, hard calculus under the gum, and also the um, above the gum. We re clean it really well, and then we have to um, put some therapy underneath either liquid therapy or uh, powder therapy which is the antibiotic um, so this is the picture of the hand instrument that we use we scale it this we call scalar we hand we hand scale it um, and after we hand scale then we will use the cavitron which is the ultrasonic um, machine what it does is it it go into the under the gum it break the calculus it it puts oxygen underneath the the gum, which is uh, the something that the environment of the anaerobic bacteria, which is the bacteria that love to live under the gum, it doesn't want oxygen. But when we put water and it is it it basically break the the <clears throat> the house where the bacteria live, and it's really really good, and uh, you see the good result after the deep cleaning. So again, this different kind of instrument we have sonnet and we have ultrasonic scalar um, also we have the technique called the laser there's different kind of laser out there <clears throat> after you do the deep cleaning you can uh, oh, 
do the laser treatment, help your gum heal faster. The result is depend on the laser technique uh, instrument uh, out there. You can check with different dentists. They do different laser technique. Um, also, we use the, uh, again, I mentioned about the uh, irrigation. We use chlorhexidine glutamate. This is the uh, substance that we help to help the patient to reduce the bacteria, number of bacteria, and heal the gum faster. Um, also, the antibiotic, the most common one is called arresting monocycline. We put right under the gum. We inject into the gum and let allow the gum to heal up. Okay. After we do a deep cleaning, if your gum, if you are in type 3 and type 4, or borderline of type, um, type 3, you, <clears throat> you might have a chronic gum inf uh, infection that even though you have a deep cleaning, you might need the additional procedure. It's called gum surgery. So we have to peel up your gum and either trim the bone uh, that defect, let it heal, or we have to put add the bone inside. Depend on the nature of the condition, depend on your, uh, your dentist uh, and your uh, gum specialist, we do different things. And uh, the goal is to really eliminate the, uh, the deep pocket that you have. So again, gum disease can, um, one of the common part of the gum disease is the diabetic patient, okay? Diabetic patient can have really tooth loss and bone loss. So again, gum disease can cause <coughs> periodontal, uh, can cause tooth loss. And when you have tooth loss, you have difficulty of chewing. And so you have hard time to uh, eat. That means that you can have a higher risk of maintaining uh, diabetic uh, condition in more stable condition. This is an, a quick example of the case. Again, I think I, I did show you at the beginning. Patient came in with uh, 15, 20 years and haven't seen a dentist. A lot of gum recession, a lot of bone loss. And uh, x-ray show a lot of um, calculus in between your, the patient teeth. And, uh, See, there's some um, bone loss at the vocation area. Uh, so <clears throat> this is the case where we're going to go ahead and do the deep cleaning. And so you see the result here. Uh, right after the deep cleaning, the patient had bleeding uh, tremendously. But you see the good kind of bleeding to allow the gum to heal up. Same thing here on the right side, a lot of bleeding. But uh, it within, uh, if you follow with me on this case in the next one month, you're going to see how the gum heal. Just, uh, just for you to see that on the left side, we did the deep cleaning uh, a few weeks ago. The gum looked great. <coughs> you, you can see the, left, the picture with left and right. The right side, on the right side of the patient, mouth, we just did a deep cleaning, but the left side, we did a few months ago. The gum looked much better, okay? So follow me. Next few weeks, you're going to see the whole result before and after of the deep cleaning. Thank you for watching. Have a great one. Bye-bye.